So are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. Um, I feel like, you know, I took all the proper steps, you know, make sure my body's right this week and, you know, put my best foot forward. How are you feeling now compared to when you first started getting integrated back in practice a couple weeks ago? Uh, feeling a lot better. Um, I'm, I'm able to pretty much do everything and um, didn't have to too much think about it. Wasn't feeling sore afterwards. Um, that's, a, that's, that's the big, biggest thing, really, is more so just going out there and, comp and be being confident in the hamstring. Um, I done, I done had a couple, and um, they're tricky. So once I was able to go out there and not think about it, then I could play like myself. So if you fully cut it loose, like on a double road? Oh, yeah, but at the same time, we're being smart. We're being smart with it. So it's not like I'm just out there running go balls, all practice, uh, you know, post. Um, being smart and still getting out there a little bit. Just talking to Saquon, obviously, you weren't here last year when he was hurt, but you've been around offseason and training camp to see what he's gone through to try to get himself ready. It, it looks like he's going to be out there on Sunday. What kind of psychological lift can that have for the guys around him that have seen him work all this time to get back to this? Uh, I mean, this is my first my first year even playing with him, and I'm happy for him. I, like you said, I've seen the work he's put in. Um, I've seen once he got back on the field how happy he was, you know, that he was able to feel like himself again. And that's huge. Having two six out there in that football field with us is going to make a lot of people, you know, they're a lot easier. Unless you're a Bronco. Unless you're a Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> how, how excited are you to finally, whether you play on Sunday or whatever, how excited are you to finally put that uniform on and play in front of the fans here? Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, hopefully all goes as planned. Um, can't wait to be out there Sunday around 4 o'clock. Are you in the same boat as Saquon, Kenny, in that you're waiting for the medical team to just sign off on you playing Sunday? Um, pretty pretty much. Um, like I said, I did everything I had to do this week. Um, I felt, felt pretty good. You know, um, I'm going to leave it up to those guys. You know, even, even, you know, if I'm in or not, you know, I'm right there by those guys, you know, cheering them on or helping them win the football game. Kenny, I think uh, last time we talked to you, I think you had said that with guys being out so much in the offense that you could conceivably get off to a bit of a slow start. Having a week of just about everybody out there, do you have any better feeling about how quick a start this offense can get off yeah. to? I mean, literally one week, you know, those guys out there, um, whole training camp. So, I mean, you, you never know. I mean, we got we got some bets on this, on this offense um, that has made a lot of plays in this league. But at the same time, as far as all less playing is one, it's going to be tough with just a week on our belt. Did, uh, did the last week of practice give you a better feel of your chemistry with Daniel, like actually running out there with the full 11? Uh, rust, rusty for sure, but at the same time, um, I've been playing football, you know, quite some time. So is he. Um, like I said, like I've been saying, it's about repetitions, you know, in between, you know, while the defense is going, while the special team is going, after practice, all that play a big role in this. How much did you go against Hal Fuller when you guys are both in the uh, NFC North? Uh, t twice a year, uh, you, you know. Uh, up, I mean. Not 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 so much match up against him, but I, you know, I've had my fair fair um, fair share of playing against him. You know, um, good player. Kenny, you've had you hamstring issues before, right? Right. Okay, I just wasn't sure. Um, are they all kind of the same? Like, does this one remind you of the others? Did you learn from that, or did that help in the rehab this time? <clears throat> um, they're all different, you know. Um, it, it all depends on how bad it is, and if you're really listening to your body, staying hydrated, staying hydrated with it, um, and really just listening to the trainers. You know what I mean? Um, you really can't go out there and think it's ready because if you think it's ready, it can probably take a little bit more time. Um, so yeah, I have dealt with a few, and all of them have been different. They've all been different. Was this one of the bad ones? I mean, you missed a lot of camp, obviously. Um. I wouldn't say these are one of the bad ones, um, but at the same time, it was bad enough. Yeah, we, we just asked Leonard Williams this. You might have heard us. He signed a big contract in the offseason. You signed a big contract in the offseason. Does that change your mindset at all? Do you feel an obligation to put up certain numbers, to make certain amount of big plays because you're not you know, on your rookie contract anymore? I'm going to go out there and play the same, the same way I've been playing um, before I got the deal. I'm um, going out there hungry, ready to compete. And trying to make plays, you know, whenever the number 19 is called to make a play, I want to be right there, to, you know, to, to answer that. And um, I feel like that's what they brought me here to make, you know, big plays. And I just want to, you know, do that. And that's what I've been doing pretty much my career.